Well, I'm very, very pleased to say that this is, once again, that time of the year where we say the season is getting underway. To some, it must seem like it seems to be earlier and earlier every year. The year 2000 is the year that we're in. This is the 2000 series, if you like. Now, I'm saying that simply because Grass Track has gone through an awful lot of changes over the last few years, as far as I can see, and we now know that it's a great sport that for the participant it's competitive, for the spectators it's exciting and what better way to start the season than what the Astra Club have called the Champion of Champions meet here at Springfield. Now looking at the circuit itself so much work has gone into it, the preparation has been absolutely first class and talking to one or two of the guys in the pits are already saying that having been out for practice the racing surface is absolutely perfect. Now when they make statements like that, you know that although they've been playing around in the workshop all through the winter months, they've been changing engines, changing frames, you know that a lot of work has gone on. They've been looking forward to this day for a long, long time. This is the season opener, and if we go back to 1999, we know that last year we had a fantastic meeting here. The weather held for us then, we saw some fabulous racing, and we know that in all the classes it was not an easy thing to win. Scott Nichols was the winner in the big 500 solo meeting and in the sidecars it was John Halsey. Now John Halsey could do the repeat, he had such a fantastic season last year that he'd love to start this year with another win. So that's one to watch out for, but one thing I'm guaranteed of is I'm not going to go through the list of riders, you'll see them all as the racing comes up and we know that this will be once again a fantastic start to the season.
on this one, but I don't think you're going to believe it. Race three it was. It was a win for number 86. That's Paul Hurry. In second place to him was number 177, Tony Dar. In third, 111, Paul Cooper. In fourth, number 11, David Howe. Fifth place, 101, David Rumsey. Sixth place, number 29, Paul Knott. Seventh place, number 22, that's Craig Smith. And the winning time, unbelievably, was 121.17. 121.17. That's an average of 63.86. Now, quickly looking along that start line, we've got Lee Ray out there, we've got Joe Mogg or Johnson. But unfortunately, not here this afternoon. <laughs> Get underway and Joe Mogg has made the best in the starts with Kenny Hamill coming up alongside him. It is Kenny Hamill, Colin Backbourne comes through as well, but those three getting away as they go into the first turn. John Richards. Good to see Joe Mogg and Joe Smith going well in that third spot. Because it's only three legs that they ride in the sidecar, so important to score good points in every single one. Colin Blackburn is getting closer and closer as they come to the conclusion of this race. Together as they come out. Very, very wide. Colin Backbourne we'll comes through on the inside. One more lap to go for these two, and it, it is getting very, very close. Signals from John Richards there to driver Kenny Hamill. They come towards the line, it is Colin Blackbourne and Martin Bailey that take it. Kenny Hamill and John Richards in second, and number seven, Paul Johnson and Dave French has got in front of Joe Mogg. Afternoon, a win for outfit number 25, Colin Blackbourne and passenger Martin Bailey. In second place, number 11, that's Kenny Hamill and John Richards. In third place, number 98, Joe Mogg and Jojo Smith. And in fourth place, number nine, that's Lee Ray and Nick Owen. No other finishes there, 145.87. Speed, 55.76. So we move now to race five these outfits out for the first time this afternoon and Rob Wilson has made a very good start it's Rob Wilson and Tony Miles that get to the front in that first turn around the pits you'll probably know that he hasn't uh, had the frame painted yet. on for this third place has been cold
Almost gets away with it, but Paul Bickley comes underneath him once again as they come towards the line. Mick's gone for the inside. It was very, very tight. Great effort from Mick Turrell and uh, Tony Baseby. But no doubt in the winner at all. It's Rob Wilson and Tony Miles. Right hand side cars and a win. First time out for number 24, Rob Wilson and Tony Miles. In second place, number 184, John Hiscock and Jason Gill. In third place, number 18, that's Paul Bickley and Paul Silver. In fourth place, number 62, Mick Terrell and Tony Baysby. Fifth place, number 26, Reg Blackbourne and Stuart Thacker. The winning time, 145.16, 145.16, 56.14 they average, 56.14. As they get underway and as they come past me for the first time, it's Richard Thomas and Gary Jackson together as they go across the line. Gary Jackson's got the better line into the top bend. Richard Thomas has come out of it leading from Gary Jackson, but it was Gary that put it completely sideways. Richard Thomas forced to go inside. Richard Thomas is safely round it this time. It's number 92. Paul Whitelam and Mark Whitelam that has trying to watch to see what happens, I think, from the position they're sitting in. One more lap is to go. Into the top turn they go. This last turn from Gary Jackson, forced to go wide, he went the long way round, and he's got the win. But the result in the end of race six means a win for outfit number 23, Gary Jackson and Carl Pugh. In second place, number 60, Richard Thomas and Kevin Woodley. In third place, number 92, that's Paul Whitenham and Mark Whitenham. Fourth place, the reserve coming in, number 187, Justin Shaw and McDay. And in fifth place, number 99, Geoffrey Austin and Gary Lancaster. In sixth place, number 20, Vaughan Roberts and Terry Madley. 147.33 was the winning time, 55 exactly they averaged. Duncan Fish, in fact, who'd uh, 
made a very good start, loses out on the first bend, now he's Simon Spates over. Simon Beanie. Side cars, race seven in your programme, a win for number 93, Andy Simons and Sean Yates. In second place, number 74, Duncan Tolhurst and Simon Beanie. In third place, number 12, Tim Bennett, Steve Hargreaves. Fourth place, number 17, Dave Steer and Rob Sharrax. In fifth place, number 30, Stefan Blythe and Steve Wright. In sixth place, number 118, Duncan Fish and Malcolm Ivey. The winning time, 147.59, 147.59. Is a win for number 111, Paul Cooper. In second place, number 75, that's Lee Street. He's an addition to your program. In third place, number 33, Richard Smith. In fourth place, number 16, Adam Ship. Fifth place, number 80, Ashley Denham. Sixth place, number 62, Steve Sarratt. In seventh place, number 124, Keith Strudwick. In eighth place, number 67. And in ninth place, if you can squeeze them in somewhere, number 49. Tenth place, number 31. The winning time, 
run. Remember, he won this competition last year. Richard Ashworth is the rider in second at the moment. That's rider number 20. But he puts it on his side. Terry Giles is the rider in third place. He's trying to put pressure on the Looks over his shoulder. Surprised, I think, that he hasn't got somebody closer to him. And Richard Ashworth continually looks down at his machinery. He's gone very wide on that bottom turn. Confirmation that James Compton possibly sneaked in the third place. The 350s this afternoon and a win for number 173, the man who won it last year, that's Neil Taylor. In second place, number 300, that's Wobie Giles. In first, third place, number one, James Compton, he just got it on the line. From in fourth place, number 20, Richard Ashworth. In fifth place, number five, Greg Williamson. In sixth place, number 22, Craig Smith. In seventh place, number 111, that's possibly Paul Cooper, I'm not sure, but we seem to have a 111 out there. Now, eighth place, number 65, ninth place, number 76. The winning time, machinery running so thanks very much for letting us know that information and as always I can then straight away pass it on to the crowd so Tony Atkins have finished in seventh place in the first of the 350s Frankie Leo's going to work in well with the machine that are able to compete are out together and at the moment it's Rob Heath and Andy Butler that are setting the pace Billy Penfold and Stuart Marsh holding second at the moment for the left-hand side cars. A win for outfit number two, Rob Heath and Andy Rutner. In second place, number three, Billy Penfold and Stuart Marsh. In third place, number eight, that's Graham Hilton and Colin Clark. Fourth place, number six, Paul Holland and Phil Durant. And in fifth place, number five, Dominic Doyle and Peter Taylor. Sixth place, number one, Tony Penfold and Carl Bell. The winning time, 145.22. 
145.22, That's the average speed. gets fourth and what a great saying great to see Phil Ambrose quickly back up on his feet obviously no injury but great shame on the last turn So race 11 then, the first of the second leg rides for the 500cc class. A win, his second this afternoon, number 86, Paul Hurry. In second place, number 6, Jeremy Doncaster. In third place, number 177, Tony Dart. Fourth place, number 3, Simon Davey. Fifth place, number 26, Mark Charles. Sixth place, number 26. got to be number 12, Trevor Banks, he's out there in front, he's just seen Paul Hurry get two wins, and terrific to see John Underwood up there in second place. Trevor Banks though, he's leading as they come off that top then. Setting the base, John Underwood pursues him, Phil Ashcroft in third, Tony Atkin in fourth at the moment. number 12. That of course is Trevor Banks' his second ride and his second win this afternoon. Second place goes to number 77, John Underwood. In third place, number 83, Phil Ashcroft. In fourth place, number 10, Tony Atkin. In fifth place, 101, David Rumsey. So, 
still getting a bit rapid at the moment as we look to race 13. And do we look for number 84, Jason Bunyan? He's back in the pack at the moment. He was in third place now. for the 500cc solo machines. A win for number 152, that's Matt Reed. In second place, number 84, Jason Bunyan. In third place, number 42, Glenn Phillips. Fourth place, number 9, Mitch Godden. Fifth place, number 111, Paul Cooper. Sixth place, 29, Paul Knott. Seventh place, 30, Malcolm Simmons. Eighth place, 14, Paul Austin. And the winning time, 124 exactly, 124 exactly, 61.71, the average speed. The race winners from the first leg all going in race 14. And as they get underway, Two of them get to the front almost together. Who's got the best going into that first turn? It looks like Rob Wilson and Tony Miles. And he's on the Simons and Sean Yates on the inside of him, and I made a complete mistake there. Adjustments made to Paul Johnson's machinery, I'm sure, because he looks to be going a lot quicker than he was in his first leg. This bottom turn, but Rob Wilson, looking to make it two out of two, goes into the last lap with Paul Johnson in pursuit. Still Andy Simon is holding that third place, he knows he's got a threat in his pocket. sideways again, we've seen him do that earlier on, Rob Wilson gets the win, but well, indeed Gary Jackson recovers from that and does get that third place. Excellent result for outfit number 24, Rob Wilson and Tony Miles. In second place, number 7, Paul Johnson and passenger Dave French. In third place, number 23, terrific ride from Gary Jackson and Carl Pugh. In fourth place, number 93, Andy Simons and Sean Yates. Fifth place, number 118, Duncan Fish and Malcolm Ivey. The winning time, 144.59, 144.59, 56.44. So away we 
go then for race 15. Very, very tight as they come past me. Duncan Tolhurst and Richard Thomas together as they go into that first turn. Duncan Tolhurst looks to be got the better of it. getting away while that battle's going on though. Well, it was in fact number 30, Steph Lyon and Steve Wright that were trying to get that second place from them. Very disappointing for Richard Thomas and Kevin Woodley as they coast to a halt means that Duncan Tolhurst and Colin Hill Tolhurst and Simon Beanie. In second place, number 62, Mick Turrell and Tony Baysby. Third place, number 18, Paul Bickley and Paul Silver. The winning time, 147.00. 147 exactly, 55.17 the average speed. So... for the first time. Oh, it is Colin Blackbourne that's got to the front. They all close up on that first turn. the lead. It is Tim Bennett that's gone up into second. John Hiscock has now moved up into third. sitting in third, watching the battle going on in front of him. Knows that if any errors are made. What they're going to do, Colin Bankford and Martin Bailey take it. Tim Lennon, Steve Hargroves in second, John Hiscock and Jason Gill in third. Result reads as a win for number 25, that's Colin Backbourne and Martin Bailey making it two out of two. In second place, number 12, Tim Bennett, Steve Hargreaves. In third place, number 184, John Hiscock and Jason Gill. In fourth place, number 9, Lee Ray and passenger Nick Owen. Fifth place, number 99, Jeff Austin and Gary Lancaster. The winning time, 145.11. 45.11. 56 56.16 was the average speed. Go 
Melbourne as they come off that start line. Kenny Hamill looks to have made the better of it. Dave Steer up there with Joe Mogg. So the three of them go into that first bend. Kenny Hamill and John Richards leading from Joe Mogg and Joe Smith with Dave Exit of this bottom band, he looks to have got the advantage. Relegates Joe Mogg down into third place. Paul Roberts now moving through up into fourth place. They look very much to be in control. Dave Steer and Rob Sharax establishing themselves in second, but that's a big, big gap they've got to make up. One more lap to go then for Kenny Hamill and John Richards to get their first win this afternoon. Dave Steer and Rob Sharrocks, a much better result this time. Paul Roberts and Ben. Across the line is going to be a win for Kenny Hamill and John Richards. Dave Steer and Rob Sharrocks get second. Joe Morgan, Joe Smith get third. Warren Roberts, Terry Madley get fourth place. And I think that was uh, Warren Roberts' his back mudguard that got lost on that note. For outfit number 11, that's Kenny Hamill and John Richards. In second place, number 17, Dave Steer and Rob Sharrox. In third place, number 20, Warren Roberts and Madley. In fourth place, number 26, Reg Blackbourne and Stuart Backer. And in fifth place, number 187, Justin Shaw and Mike Day. 145.89, 145.89 the winning time, 55.7, that's the average speed, 55.7. And once again, you may have noticed that uh, number 98 didn't appear in the results. Clark of the course again saying, no leniency for anybody, if you off the circuit, out of the results you go. in your program and the lead at the moment with number 33 Richard Smith remind you that this is a three point scoring rides I think on the line, Paul Cooper tried very, very hard to get just the wheel in front, but I think Richard Smith has got it. Wait for confirmation from the lap source. Tremendous 250 racing. The tiniest of margins, number 33, Richard Smith. In second place, number 111, Paul Cooper. In third place, number 75, Lee Street. Fourth place, number 16, Adam Schiff. Fifth place, number 124, Keystroke. Seven, fifty-five point seven five was the average speed. 
as we have already got the 350s out on the circuit and already we've got an early leader, that early leader is the winner of the first leg. of the 350 competition. A win for number 173, exactly as it was in the first leg, Neil Taylor. In second place, number one, James Complin. Third place, number 20, Richard Ashworth. Fourth place, number five, Greg Williamson. Fifth place, number 22, Craig Smith. Sixth place, number 76. Seventh place, number 65. And eighth place, number 37. 129.27 was the winning time, 129.27, 58.05, the average speed. <laughs> between these two as number two Rob Heath does get the lead now while he forced his way past uh, Billy Penfold and Stuart Marsh see that number eight Graham Hill looking to stand their authority of the event in this second ride. Graham Hilton now coming under pressure from Tony Penfold and Carl Bell. And they had problems in their first ride. Penfold in second, Tony Penfold has moved up into third and is looking to close and have a go on second. Beginning of course at Rob Heath and Andy Butler make it two out of two. So race 20, the left hand side cars out for the second time. It was a win for outfit number two, Rob Heath and Andy Butler. Two rides, two wins for them. In second place, number one, number one is Tony Penfold and Carl Bell. In third place, number three, Billy Penfold and Stuart Marsh. In fourth place, number eight, Graham Hilton and Colin Clark. In fifth place, number six, Paul Holland and Phil Durant. The winning time, 145.77, 145.77. make it a little bit interesting. They both go against each other in race 23. So that's one to look forward to. A lot of other riders know that the right here will get them a place in that A-final. Matt Reed, of course, had a win in his second ride. He sits on 18 points from two rides. Going around 
the long way, tries to get himself in front, and Simon Davey has got the lead from Dave Rumsey. Matt Reed got caught on the inside of them, decides to switch to go around the outside of Dave Rumsey, and now he's got Simon Davey to work down. making sure of a place in the LA final. Number six is Jeremy Doncaster. In second place, number 42, that's Glenn Phillips. In third place, number 50, Phil Ambrose. In fourth place, number 11, David Howell. Fifth place, number 30, Malcolm Simmons. Sixth place, number 22, Craig Smith. Seventh place, number 495. And the winning time, 124.17. 124.17. 61.58 the average speed. The lead, Joe Banks in second, John Underwood in third, Phil Ashcroft and Mitch Gordon in fourth and fifth. And look at Paul Hurry go as he falls away from Joe to have the thought that maybe Trevor Banks is thinking, no, nope, I'll hold it back, just get a second place to get you the game. Thank you. 
2004. Last of the qualifying heats in the 500cc solo competition, a win for number 86, that's Paul Hurry. His third ride and his third win. In second place, number 12, that's Trevor Banks. In third place, number 77, John Underwood. In fourth place, number 9, Mitch Gordon. In fifth place, number 83, Phil Ashcroft. In sixth place, number 26, Mark Giles. In seventh place, number 7, Gareth Roberts. And eighth place, number 14, that's Paul Austin. The winning time, 121.88, 121.88, 63.31. He was averaging 63.31. And uh, we've got two outfits on maximums. That's Rob Wilson and Colin Blackbourne. Rob Wilson is 24. He goes in race 24. No John Halsey, of course. He was a non-starter this afternoon. Duncan Toller had a much better ride in his last heat. Five outfits only on the line, and as they get underway, it is Rob Wilson on the inside, Joe Mark, and Duncan Tolleris that have got away. Warren Roberts trying to make sure that they don't get too far away from him as they go into that first turn. Duncan Tolleris is back in third place. Doesn't look to be making any ground on that second. They go into that second. Well, Tony Marlis won't mind that at all. He comes to be looks over his shoulder. He'll be indicating to his driver that yes, we can try finding a few more quick lines. takes the win. Joe Morgan has gone very, very wide and it does mean that Duncan Torres gets the second place. But outfit number 24, Rob Wilson and Tony Myers. Three right, three wins for them. In second place, number 74, that's Duncan Tolhurst and Simon Beanie. In third place, number 98, Joe Morgan, Joe Smith. In fourth place, number 118, Duncan Fish and Malcolm Ivey. And in fifth place, number 20, Vaughan Roberts and Terry Madley. 143.41, 143.41, a speed of 57.09. So as we go over the page, we move the race 25 and they come past me very quickly. Four outfits only, unfortunately, in this one. We know, have heard from the pits that Richard Thomas is the Looking to make it two wins in a second and a strong place in the final. Andy Simons and Sean Yates in second. It's Paul Whitelam, number 92, Paul Whitelam and Mark Whitelam. with this opening performance this season, I'm sure. Oh, one 
more lap to go for Kenny Howell and John Richards. That's going to make it two wins and a second. Well, uh, I think it's even using... Uh, Number 11 it is that goes in first place. In second, number 93, that's Andy Simons and Sean Yates. In third place, number 92, Paul Whitelam and Mark Whitelam. In fourth place, number 9, Lee Ray and Nick Owen. 145.26, 145.26, a speed of 56.08. tapes eventually go and we get underway with race 26 and as they come past me it's all very very tight we've got Gary Jackson in this one who just noses to the front but he's got Tim Benny on the inside and Closer to Tim Bennett. Tim Bennett at the moment seems to be losing ground on Gary Jackson. And Gary Jackson and Carl Pugh certainly trying to make this one there. They go down the back three. that one or two changes they've made to geometry, etc. needs a few minor adjustments. We'll have to sit back and see whether he has done enough to get into the final. Colin Blackburn, I would feel, has done enough. He's got a third place there, but he's had two wins beforehand. Still with the right-hand side cars, and this heat was won by outfit number 23, Gary Jackson and Carl Pugh. In second place, number 12, Tim Bennett and Steve Hargreaves. In third place, number 25, Colin Blackburn and Martin Bailey. In fourth place, number 18, Paul Bickley and Paul Silver. In fifth place, number 187, that's our reserves, Justin Shaw and McDay. And in sixth place, number 26, Reg Blackbourne and Stuart Thacker. The winning time, 143.31, 143.31, 57.14. with this the last of the qualifying heats and riders knowing that they've got to go well in this one to get a chance of going in the A final Dave Steer certainly has not had the best of the first two heats in second. John Hiscock and Jason Gill.
won't mind that at all as he keeps going, he's still got the lead. car competition a win for outfit number seven that's paul johnson and dave french in second place number 17 dave steer and rob sherrox in third place number 184 john hiscock and jason gill in fourth place number 99 jeff austin and gary lancaster and in fifth place number 30 seth blythe and steve wright 144.17 144.17 56.77 the average speed as we now move to the concluding leg for the 250. The position at the moment is the number 111. That is the Smith then. Lee Street up there in second place. Has Paul Cooper gone through on the inside? He's gone very, very tight. Richard Smith comes back at him. going to be an interesting last bend between those three and uh, he's determined to come round and finish I don't know what points he will get for this position the line it is a busted chain that's taken him out of that 250 heat he takes the checkered flag so he does get a finishing position and I'm sorry to say it's so far down that everybody else finished he doesn't pick up any points from that heat result reads as in race 28 a win for number 33 that's Richard Smith in second place, number 75, that's at Lee Street. In third place, number 62, Steve Sarah. In fourth place, number 124, Keith Strudwick. Fifth place, number 16, Adam Ship. Sixth place, number 80, Ashley Denham. Seventh place, number 67, eighth place, 49. Ninth, 31, 10th place, 111. So, I'm not too many there. 111, one, one, should be. Three times, one, 33, right. Last that flag 
goes for Neil Taylor. Is this going to be a clean sweep for Neil Taylor? As they go into that bottom turn, we've got machinery and a rider on the circuit. So for race 29, we've got a win for number 173, and that really is a clean sweep for Neil Taylor. Three rides and three wins. He takes for 350 this afternoon. In second place, number one, that's James Complin. In third place, 300, Terry Charles. Fourth place, 22, Craig Smith. Fifth place, number five, Greg Williamson. And sixth place, number 65. Seventh place, 37. No time or speed for that one. Obviously, the race being stopped after three laps. 1731, 322, 5, 65, and 37. Number one, Tony Penfold and passenger Carl Bell. In second place, number eight, Graham Hilton and Colin Clark. In third place, number three, Billy Penfold and Stuart Marsh. In fourth place, number six, Paul Holland and Phil Durant. And in fifth place, number two, Rob Heath and Andy Butler. Sixth place, number five, Dominic Doyle and Peter Taylor. And the winning time, 142.61, 142.61. 50.50 was the average speed, 50.50. So as you can probably see by the fact that the marshals and first aid officials are taking a well-deserved break, we have reached interval time. It's disappointing when I have to stop a meeting like this, because you've got a track. Oh, it's wonderful, 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 than this, unfortunately. <laughs> but it's been a wonderful meeting. And probably the most precious thing is to see everybody sliding around the corner like I used to. <laughs> um, but uh, I tell you, the racing was good, I must say that. Um, the track is very nice, I must say. But unfortunately, as you see now, it holds the water, it could be a very dangerous and can the meeting. But um, apart from that, whoever won the meeting was going extremely well, I noticed. <laughs> well, indeed, yeah. um, we're going to have the winners up here in a second race, but Lou, a quick word with you, because enjoy today, obviously we've started the season for 2000, lots of good meetings to look forward to. Yeah, great meeting today, great work, jolly hard with this, it's a super track, a super race, 
and he's showing a little river snappers are coming on at the hills now. And I've been watching them. And next, our meeting with the under 21s or under 21, that's going to be some meeting. So, everybody be there. We need you. <laughs> but they, no, seriously, these lads are very good. At I should say there's at least half a dozen that's going really well. And the side cars, they're saying, showing up well. These plastic lads are going well. They were born with it. They're exceptionally good. Everybody put on a damn good show. Well, I think I've got to agree with you, Lou. Obviously, a fantastic show. Disappointing when the weather works against us like this, but what we're here for, obviously, is to present the awards to those that did the hard riding earlier on today. So, if I can start with the 250 class, and as always, with any motorsport, let's bring up from third place, Paul Cooper. <laughs> I'll let me dad do it. <laughs> well, uh, Paul and indeed, I think you can agree with Lou was just saying a moment ago that uh, youngsters who've been coming through this sport are riding superbly well. Paul Cooper certainly is on love it. A one man that we know always goes well on the 2.15, finishing second this afternoon, the Lee Street. Well done, Lee, indeed, it just means that we've got the one that they were run to first place, of course, and going away with the Champion of Champions Cup for the 250 class. He rode brilliantly this afternoon, he well deserves this win, Richard Smith. Are you relaxed to the other Swiss? Hang on, boys, you've got the booze. Most important. 
Red has turned her attention back to the solo class, and this time we move to 350s, finishing in third place, Terry Giles. All they can do is make balls. Oh, thank you. Only <laughs> <laughs> one to want the checks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, have your fault. Oh, you can call a bit, that is. Yeah. Yeah. Look at me, Terry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Terry. Third place to Terry Giles this afternoon. Finishing in second, James Compton. Yes, I want to. Can you manage that one on your own? Jolly good. Up in the well, I think so. We've mentioned about these other gentlemen, but I think this is certainly another name that I'll never keep an eye on in the results. But the winner, in tremendous form this afternoon, the only one it said in the press during the week who was coming back to defend his champion's title, he has won it again. Of course, 350 winner, Neil Taylor! <laughs> Yeah, Chris. 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 Yeah, an equal position for third place, and we did have a problem in the 500 solos as well with equal second. The officials of the club have sorted this out now, and they've done it on the race that the two competitors met each other, and who in fact was the victor in that race. What it means for the right-hand sidecars is that because of the result in race 26, in third place we've got Gary Jackson and Park <laughs> Well done, boys. Just explain you've got three wheels for regular. Oh, that's all right. Come on, thank you. And you've got the bottom of the There we go. Thank you very much. Well done, Tim. Everyone. Well done indeed, guys. He said that he could worry about shaking all Reggie's hands here. He said, don't worry, it's only a problem. Well, well done indeed to third place Gary and Carl. Let's move on to second place. A very, very long journey to get here, but let's hope they made it worthwhile. In second place, Gary, extremely well this afternoon. Kenny Hamill and John Richards. Well done indeed to Kenny Hamill and John Richards. It means that we just need to get the winners of the competition up here. Spoke to them this morning, they're experimenting with a slightly different setup on the sidecar. For the moment it looks like it's working. Of course, the winners this afternoon, Rob Wilson and Tony Miles. <laughs> Really the way to win it, but yeah, we've done it, so let's do it. And of course, remembering that in September the Reef Masters returns here, see a bird track for it. 
Oh yeah, excellent. I mean, it's a good grass track, and uh, hopefully everybody will be up for it, and uh, the runner have a really good day. Well, I'm sure everyone's giving our fingers crossed for the winner of that day, and of course, let's give you a nice big round of applause for the three winners this afternoon. Gary Jackson and Carl Pugh, Kenny Hamlin and John Richards, Rob Wilson and Tony Miles. This of course being the big one, the big start of the season, and uh, I did mention earlier that we tied the position of second and third. Well obviously it worked out that if you go right back to the very first race of the day, Trevor Banks did unfortunately beat Matty Reed in that race, so it means that in third place we've got Matt Reed! And indeed, it means that in second place, I know it all started again this morning, but is he going to compete this year? Is this his last year? Will he keep going? Of course he'll keep going. As long as he can keep that machinery going. In second place, Drew! Right, it means we've just got one more trophy to give away. It is the big, big trophy. It's the 90, well, I was going to say 1999 then, but of course we're into the year 2000. The winner of the very first meeting of the year, number one this afternoon, Paul Harry. <laughs> He told me that it's not going to come to you in one place. You might not have bought the You know, I say that for your dad, but he worked hard. You know, you know, you know, you know, Great start of the season. Yeah, it's been fantastic. Well, you thought it's going to be a good one. Well, it's a good one. Well, you thought it's going to be a good one. Well, you thought it's going to be a good one. Well, you thought it's going to be a good one. Well, you thought it's going to be a good one. Well, you thought it's going to be a good one. Well, you thought it's going to be a good one. I can only say thank you all very much for persevering through the rain to see the presentation. Thanks to you guys for presenting the awards, Luke Coffin and, and Reg Luckers, of course. Great to see them back here at these sort of events. I mentioned we've got some big, big meetings coming up. Don't forget the Oval Traders, 15th and 16th, and Easter weekend is Salisbury on the Sunday, Maidstone on the Monday. Then the season unrolls completely. It's going to be a great season this year, I'm sure of it. Have a very safe journey home. I hope to see you at a glass track very soon. Thank you.